This is the real Tom Rose, and uh, this is an interesting question. It's pretty old school. They give us a function, they tell you a domain, and they want you to find the range. Uh, so let me translate what they're asking you into, into a picture. Um, they're basically saying, let's draw the function. I'm going to draw the function f of x, right? With x on the horizontal axis, f of x on the vertical axis. And I can do this because I know I can use point slope. I can use a slope intercept form. So I know the intercept is negative 8. So let's draw that down here. And I know that the, uh, the slope is a steep positive 7. So I'm going to draw a steep line through here. Right, that intersects the vertical axis there at uh, negative eight. So we have a linear function. This is a line, right? It extends infinitely in both directions here. And they tell you that the range that they care about is um, negative five for the x to, um, to eight on the x. So what you really need to do is go down here and figure out where those points intersect this line. And you need to follow it over to the vertical axis. Um, and that will give you these points on the vertical axis where those intersections are. That will give you the range of that function. right? The domain is the horizontal component. The range is the vertical component. So all we really need to do is plug in these extremes. We need to plug in negative 5 and plug in 8 and see what we get out. So if I plug in negative 5, um, I get uh, 7 times negative 5 uh, minus 8, which is equal to negative 35 minus 8, which is equal to negative 43. So we're talking about one of those two answer choices right there. And then if we plug in f of 8, we'll be looking for uh, 7 times 8 minus 8. 7 times 8 is 56. Minus 8 is what? 48. So the one we're looking for is that one. Right, the range is negative 43 to 48. 